Hey everybody, David Lemon here. I just wanted to tell you something really, really awesome, and this is about GrooveCell. We had a deployment a couple of weeks ago, which we were improving uh, almost daily, and that deployment is for our checkout builder. I'm pretty sure you already seen it in case you're working with GrooveCell already, uh, but in case you haven't seen it yet, I'll just uh, show you some of the things that we worked on. Uh, on top of the checkout builder, we did some improvements and also some fixes, so let me tell you about those as well. So starting with the fixes, in case we go into GrooveCell, and clicking over here to the tools button um, the coupon functionality had some issues where it was adding on some extra characters on the top of the coupon that you wrote out already so in case you set up a coupon name which was 10 off coupon it groove cell immediately added on some extra characters on it as you can see with the la latest uh, coupon i created it didn't do that so let's just double check if we create a coupon let's just call it uh, supplements coupon okay let's just copy this as a description as well and here we can create a coupon it immediately gives us an an example of a coupon but we can just freely delete this extra characters and just have supplements coupon over here you decide what uh, to add the discount for or how to add the discount would it be an amount discount or a percentage let's just do 25 percent uh, discount and then click save and next here you select your funnel I'll just choose a supplement funnel that I have in my account and then you decide for what payments first payment only first few payments and so should it be uh, should it expire or should it not expire and then once you're done setting all that up you can click the finish button save and exit and after that you can see that the supplements supplements coupon has been created without any extra characters on top of that so that's a fix uh, going on to the improvements which is not that big right now but you are going to be seeing in the couple of next deployments when we are expanding uh, the functionalities of groove cell it's going to be major so in case we head over to product funnels and we choose a product funnel we go and manage the product on here you can see that we separated the ui for the front end products upsells downsells and in the future you're going to see also on your account the ability to create uh, add to cart order bumps so we separated it for the reason so that you can manage it a bit differently a bit more clear so that uh, you don't get bogged down what are the upsells what are the downsells what are the bumps and so on so this is an improvement because we're trying to separate out the different products that you have or may have in your product funnel and now the big change which is our checkout builder so the checkout builder functionality has been added on the place where you actually got the links previously in case you click over here to this little checkout cart you will go to the same place where you go over here so tools and then checkout forms and links you will come to the same place so you can or you can navigate to it from different places tools checkout forms and links or in case you go to your product funnel to a specific product funnel and then you can click onto that checkout cart that will bring you to the same place so let me just briefly explain how it works the first drop down that you see here are uh, are all the funnels all the product funnels that you have in your groove cell account once you selected the product funnel all of the products that you will see are visible in the second drop down over here so in case you want to create a, a checkout link or a checkout embed code for a specific uh, product then you select your product funnel here and then you se select the product that you want to create it for once you did that you can then go and create a link so creating uh, creating links or creating checkout embeds is very simple we created a wizard that you can follow step by step once you come to the end you will get your links or the actual checkout embed that you can you can put on your pages in Groove uh, or on other external website page builders so the name it serves for you to understand for what is the checkout so this is only for your inter internal needs so the name will not be seen by anybody else in case you want to create a checkout for a free sign up then you can create it here for the same 
a same product you can create a different checkout link that will not be for free signups but maybe for the paid pricing and so on so let's just give this a name um, free signups okay and here this little toggle switch you can choose if you would like to add this uh, checkout to be specifically for an affiliate in case you're doing webinars or something like that and you you are promoting um, you're promoting something through somebody else's um, email list or audience then you can add that affiliates name over here so that you are giving them built into the checkout form you're going to connect their affiliate link to this checkout form so 100% of the uh, purchases through this checkout form will be assigned to that specific affiliate so it's very simple just switch on this toggle and then you can search for the affiliates name the affiliate needs to have a groove account in order to be able to do this okay the next step is just deciding would you like a free pricing or are you using this checkout for uh, free signups like for example a butterfly marketing system once you selected that save and next and here you can decide the steps you can have different steps would it be a one-step checkout or a multi-step checkout once you click on a multi-step checkout you'll get a couple of different options that you can choose from would you like to collect the email on one page and then the second page would be all the other details like billing and payment and things like that would you like to connect collect email on one page name and billing on the second page and on the third page would it be a payment information or on the third option you can select first the contact details or the name and email the second page they would be the billing information and on the third they would be the payment information so here in this step we give you an option to choose uh, in order to further modify your marketing needs so in case you want to do abandoned cart emails and things like that you can choose either of these options so that you collect the email first so that later on in case somebody decides not to go through the checkout process then you still have their emails and so on so let's just select this one and move on to the next coming on to the price points you can enable all the price points or if you actually switch off this toggle then you can see all of the price points and you can turn them on separately heading over to the look and feel by clicking the save and next button it allows you to actually change how the actual checkout experience will look like for the end user you can turn on or turn off the branding bar just by choosing this slider or the toggle switch on the top of the page over here um, disable the branding bar means that the checkout page or the checkout form will not show the product name on top and also the product image in case you actually want to allow that then you can upload a product image over here which is just by selecting an image from your image library that is connected to all of the Groove apps selecting a template will allow you to modify further the look and feel of the checkout or in case you prefer a custom colors you can click the custom option over here and choose a primary and secondary colors so the primary color is going to change the color of the button and the change the color of the background of the branding bar if we select a different color for example green you can see that these options changed secondary color is used for choosing the text so over here this text and also the text on the button so let's just choose white here we go we modified our checkout and then we can head over to the next option which is the form fields if you would like to add some custom form fields to ask the customers when they are actually finalizing or finishing up the checkout then you can click over here and just add an, ex an extra additional field that the customers will need to fill out before they check out the custom fields are currently showing in when you're using webhooks when you're sending over this information through webhooks this is how you can use these custom fields at this moment they are not showing up in the groove cell reporting or in groove mail reporting that is going to be added very soon selecting save and next it allows you to have some options that only the big players in the software world do selecting a username and password during the checkout process is something that the big software service companies do and 
this is how they can sell software for their users. This is something that you can do right now immediately already in GrooveSell. Just turning on ask for username and turning on ask for password. This allows you to not only collect this information and allow your customers to set up their login details, but it goes even further. Let's just say that you are selling a membership and for that membership, you allow your customers to set up their own passwords. Okay, so this is how you can do that. The username for Groove member is not needed, but the password is needed. But in case you would like, you can turn on both of these and you are selling a membership and you have a butterfly marketing system turned on, which creates automatic affiliates. This means that the username and the password will be used for Groove member for the access of the of, to the membership, but also these details will be used to create a Groove account, which will be signed up under your affiliate link so that the customers get added on as affiliates instantly by the software and can log in using this information on here. Clicking the save and next, we can go on to the skip billing address. In case you are doing a free checkout or a free signups, then you can skip over certain information like the address information and the legal and terms of service information, which is not needed in case you're doing a free checkouts. Clicking save and next, you can add on some custom CSS and tracking scripts in case you have different pixels or uh, Google Tag Manager links that you would like to add on. This is the place where you can uh, where you can add it in so that your checkouts will be also tracked. Once you're done with all of this, you will get a checkout link. You will get an embed code and very soon we'll have a pop-up modal similarly to what Stripe does in the middle of the screen. Everything will be blurred out and only in the middle of the screen there will be a pop-up modal with, uh, with where the users can fill out all the information that you set up here. So at this moment, let's just have a look how the checkout link looks like. Let's have a look load it in here we go this is how it looks like on here with the green color that we selected and if we embed it we can just copy over this code and bring it over to groove pages using an embed code element embed this code into our designs so that's briefly about the checkout builder it allows us to create a very very systematic checkouts so that we collect all the information we need and also to create finally full butterfly marketing systems that the Groove suite of tools provides.